All right, what's up, family? Hey, this is Pastor Bryson G. Baylor, Senior Pastor of Next Level Church. And listen, right now, I am standing in the middle of a miracle. Like, I've been waiting and waiting to share this with you because what we're standing in, what I'm standing in, is the future of Next Level Church. Friends, this is bigger than anything that I've ever imagined or could have done. You know, I came here three years ago. It's a, it's a joke now in our church, but I came here three years ago on the Greyhound bus from Akron, Ohio with two suitcases and $800. And um, because God sent me here to New York City and he sent me here for a specific assignment. And the assignment was to revolutionize how the church engages people and culture. And how we do that by following God and living as kings. What was the major reason for leaving? Well, I don't really see it as leaving Akron. You know, it's, it's the whole logistics of it. I mean, it's about joining forces uh, where I see that we have the greatest chance to really accomplish the vision that God's given us of winning and winning for multiple years. And so it was a journey, like literally it was, you know, I had not a lot of people supported me. Um, I came from, uh, you know, 10 years of pastoring back home in Ohio and it was rough and it was on paper a failure. And to come here to New York City, one of the, if not the greatest city in the world, um, was a steep challenge. Just like, how do you make room in New York City? I'm not a big name. Nobody knows who I am. I could barely get anybody to come back home when I was in church <laughs> to, to be a part of our church. But God said New York City. And whenever God calls you somewhere, I guarantee this, he'll make room for you. And what I'm standing in right now is God making room for us. Not just any kind of room, but we're here in a very particular place. Now, let me let me build this up for you just a little bit real quick, all right? So, you don't know if you've been tracking what is We started in 2019, um, we got put us in Queens. God put us in Jamaica, Queens. Halt! Take us to Queens at once. And um, I'm like, cool, we gonna rock Queens out, and we are gonna do it till, we are gonna do it all the way out. We are gonna be the, the hottest thing that we can be in Queens, right? And you know what happened? Coronavirus, in my Cardi B voice. Guess what? that it made us shift everything. We had to stop meeting in person. We switched to 100% online. But you know what happened? We grew by 300%. Now it's crazy, it's amazing because God did some amazing. We were able to meet amazing new people, um, new family, new people that's a part of our vision and movement. And do you know, it made us, it made our other space obsolete because we outgrew it. So we, I felt God, I said, God, we got to figure out how we're going to meet, how we're going to get to be, um, to do church all the way. Because listen, coronavirus is not going to stop Next Level Church. That virus, COVID-19, does not stop the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, Satan, you bow your knees. COVID-19. COVID-19. I blow the wind of God, the wind of God. on you. And so I was praying. And so I remember like it was yesterday. You know, I remember like it was yesterday. I was praying and I said, Lord, we need a place. We need a place to meet. So I started looking at a place deeper in Queens. Now I didn't really want to go that far out, but I said, Lord, I'm just going to be faithful to what you told us to do. So I'm going to be faithful to Queens. I remember it. I was praying in our prayer service and the Lord dropped a vision. I seen a floor and I seen light. And I felt like I was placed in the middle of a place and it was just beautiful, it was brilliant. And I knew it was a church building and I really realized and I said, Lord, this must be what you're doing. You must be giving me faith for a church building. So I immediately got my faith up. I said, Lord, I receive that you are giving us a faith for a building for our church. Now, you know how faith works because faith is not something you generate. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I couldn't just say, God, I decree and declare a building. I had to receive faith from the Father to say, yes, I have space for you. That's all you're gonna get for today. You gotta come to Sunday service to get the rest of that flow. So I got faith for it. So what happened was I sent a text message about the spot in Queens that I had already been looking at to some of our people, some of our leaders in our church. I said, hey, check this out. Let me know what you think of it, right? I send it to them. One of them responds back to me very rarely because he never responds to me in the morning via text. He says, yo, I may have somebody that has a building for you but it's in Brooklyn. I said, man, listen, I'm out in Brooklyn. We started out in Brooklyn having our um, uh, monthly Next Level Experience services in Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. And so he sent me the address, the location. He sent me the phone number. I literally just got out of a meeting with the gentleman today right now. 
And when I tell you that what I saw in the vision is what I'm standing in right now, like literally if I could cry on demand, I would have tears rolling down my eyes because it is what I saw in the vision that God gave me. The faith that the Lord gave me for a building is what we are standing in right now that will be the future home of Next Level Church. Y'all, y'all gotta be excited because this is big. This is not just regular church. This is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. I'm telling you, we I came from Akron and God put us not just anywhere in Brooklyn. Now, mind you, I love Brooklyn. I lived in East New York for about six months, so I'm not saying this in a way of like, you know, like elitism, right? Like I love East New York. I got friends in Ocean Hill, best die, do or die. Shout out to my friends uh, in Brownsville too, right? But listen, this place is in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. If you don't know much about New York City, Williamsburg, Brooklyn is one of the most gentrified areas. It's one of the most expensive areas in all of New York City. Right. So this is not in the hood and God bless the hood. I'm not shaming anybody, but God made God gave us faith for a prime real estate place in one of the hottest communities in New York City, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I'm telling you this, God did it because he is sending an additional kingdom presence and a kingdom impact to Williamsburg, Brooklyn and New York City by means of Next Level Church. And I am so excited because God made space. Let me tell you how dope this is. I'm testifying, but you got to be with me, rock with me for a little bit. When I was living in East New York, I used to come out here to Williamsburg all the time because I love it so much. As a matter of fact, my favorite restaurant is only about seven minutes from here anyway. Look at the Lord. Any, any, all right. Come on, touch it up and say, won't he do it? I used to come out here all the time. Every Saturday, I would come out here, walk, and just dream. Literally, I would just come out here and dream. And little did I know that God would put us right back here into the place where I have been dreaming. Like literally, I'm standing in the middle of a miracle, people of God. And this is God's doing. Because God, listen, whenever he gives you faith, he gives you a future. I want you to write that down if you got home. I want you to tell somebody, when God gives me faith, he gives me a future. And we are standing in right now the future of Next Level Church. This is not just going to be where we have to We're going to change the game here. We're going to change Brooklyn. We're going to impact New York City. We're going to touch Atlanta. We're going to touch from sea to shining sea. If you get my drift, all right? Because God sent us here to do something great. Let me give you a quick tour real quick. So let's come on. Come on, let's rock with me. Come on, I'm going to show you. So this, is, this place is like... Now, it's New York storefront, but it's brilliant, right? It's beautiful. For those of you who are Midwesterners or out in other parts of the city where the world, the country where they got bigger space, you may feel like, this is not that big. But like, when I tell you like, this is New York big, this is a blessing. This is a blessing, massive blessing. So here's the entrance, right? We got tremendous view. We got tremendous, we got a sound booth over here. Glory to God. We got over here, a rest, we got a restroom with a baby changing station. Where they do that at? And vents, and vents. So that way when somebody blow it up by accident, we can, you know, when somebody blow it up by accident, you know, we'll be all right. You know, we'll be good. We already got the, so let's keep going. So here we got the stage. This, this is where the fire is gonna fall. This is gonna be the stage, y'all. We gonna deck this all the way out. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be so high tech. I mean, look at, look at the floor. Show them the floor, brother. Show them the floor. Look, the floor is exactly like I saw in my vision. The lighting is just like I saw in the vision. The walls are like I saw in the vision. This is God's doing. I feel like Pinky, like, yeah, 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 what's up? Hallelujah. Say it again. Say it again. This is God's doing. Yo, I couldn't imagine. It's like, yo, we gonna have mad crazy services. We gonna be prophesying, we gonna be praying, casting out devils. Like, this is gonna be the spot. People are gonna think, next level church, they gonna see this place, and they gonna feel this vibe. Come on, let me show you, but this is not it. All right, we got more, come on, follow me. Next level, you did this. I'm telling you, shout out to our partners, our day ones. Y'all turn off every light too, God bless you, for conserving energy. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, let's go, I'm gonna show you real quick some more of what's going on here. This is beautiful. I feel like this is MTV Cribs. This is NLC Cribs, all right? Show you some other areas here. What's going down? I mean, look here, we got this room, which was used for a kid's room. 
Glory to God. Come on over here. We got an office area. It's beautiful, it's spacious. We're gonna have some office space here. So let me show you some more. Here we got another area that was used as a kid's room. Also a big deal. I'm telling you people, God, this is, this is like, this is big. This is big. And we got another bathroom, right? We got another bathroom. We got another bathroom here, right? And I'm telling you, this is big. What we got going on right here, this is gonna change the game. This is why your partnership and your support matters because God has literally put us into something that's game changed. Like literally, real estate around us is selling for easily six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month for places that are smaller than this. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And God has given us a miracle because we're, first of all, we're not paying that much, but he's given us not just that, but he's given us favor. Do you know that favor is better than money? Because your favor that God puts on your life is going to take you places that your money cannot. Say a mighty favor. As we go further, you're gonna learn more about what God is revealing and what he's doing. But I'm telling you, this is a big deal and this is God's doing. Hallelujah. I feel like shout, I feel like, I feel like hanging, man. I was gonna stop and just be loud. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Jingle Bells. Hey, it's good to see you, baby. Hey, man, I feel good. Hey, y'all, everybody, Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, y'all, listen, we've been waiting for this. Y'all know this. I've been pastoring now. This is my 13th year in pastoral ministry, and it's been a struggle, and it's been an uphill battle, and it's feel like I'm pushing for something that I can't see, but God has literally broken through, and he's put me, taken me from Akron, Ohio, to New York City to lead this wonderful group of people to help change this nation, and we're doing it, and we're standing in what is going to be our first building of hundreds glory to god i'm saying this by faith this is going to be the first of hundreds the first of hundreds do you hear me and we're standing in it i bought this building and that building and that one over there you're kidding this is what god is on when he called me from akron and he sent me here to new york city it wasn't just to have church but it was to change the game and we're in a place god said he made his churches a city on the hill right mm -hmm. that cannot be hid. i'm telling you man we're on a place where this place is located you can't hide next level church you're not going to be able to hide this move of god what he's doing how we're reaching online how we're changing people how we're going to literally revolutionize how the church engages people and culture we're not going to be here <laughs> All right, and so I got with us right now some of our amazing people that came with me today. And James and Andrew Patterson, tell me this real quick. Like, when you came here, like, what were your thoughts? Like, what, what, what do you sense, like, the Lord doing, the Lord saying? This is a miracle of God, like, literally. So it's just exciting and just, I'm awestruck. I'm awestruck. I had tears in my eyes because I know the ins and outs of some of the story. So to, you know, meet with the, the person who, who, you know, who blessed us, who the Lord used to bless us with this building, to hear his testimony, to hear Pastor Bryson's testimony and to see how it all connects. It makes it clear that the Lord is creating what I got is divine connection. Yes, so he's making divine connections and it's, it's undeniable. It's nothing we could do of our own. You know, we could have whatever gifts, uh, both monetary or uh, spiritual gifts we, we can, but 
those divine connections is what God does. And that's what I got when I was walking through here. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. I don't want to say it's unbelievable, it's believable, but it's just amazing to see how God, you know, is literally just moving. Like, like faith, faith to faith, glory to glory. That's what I received. I want to tell you this, this is why he mentioned divine connection. This is why it's so important right now that we not just come together in faith, but we come together in action and works. You know, we've been teaching in our um, Kingdom Leadership series that faith without works is dead, as James, the book, says. And so this is why your continued partnership and your financial support is so important. Okay, so there's two phases to this. First of all, the first phase is $50,000. We need $50,000 to be able to get everything we need to deck this place out so we can have minimum viable product church. In other words, we can have um, the first iteration of the lowest level that we need, $50,000, right? We need that. We need that within the next 60 days, okay? But beyond that, God has given us a goal. We need, we're raising half a million dollars because of the things that we want to do here, the way that we want to deck this out, the way that we want to create technology and implement tech so that we can not just reach here in Brooklyn and New York City, but also so that we can reach all across the nation with this gospel of the kingdom that God has given us in this message and this mission. Not only that, but we're going to have some initiatives where we're going to be training and mentoring and raising up the next generation of leadership by working with students ages 12 to 18 and even beyond. Like we're going to have some one-on-one -on -one training and mentoring and some group mentoring. We're going to have entrepreneurial classes. So we're going to have so much going on here, y'all. Like, listen, like for the second phase where we're trying to raise half a million dollars for, like we're going to have Next Level University that's going to include our prophetic school that's going to include our school of ministry that's going to include um school of marriage and family it's going to include our discipleship school it's going to include so much and so many different things that is all going to happen here in this beautiful place in this beautiful facility that god has blessed us with listen by the way and i forgot to tell you the biggest thing we're doing is our thousand person soul campaign. Like literally, we are going to reach and to see 1,000 people born again in the next year. I'm, it's gonna happen because we have a strategy and this place, this facility is gonna be so crucial to it and your support is needed. Listen, we're not raising money just because we're raising money. We're raising money and we're generating funds because we need your help to push the kingdom of God forward. Listen, the world is filled with tragedy. It's commonplace. As a matter of fact, there's so much unrest. There's riots, looting, like there's uncertainty. There's emotional um, unrest that's happening. Like the world, our nation as we know it, is coming apart at the seams. But you know what's not changed? God's promises. You know what else has not changed? His future and his plan. And the words he said to Jesus, where Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. I'm telling you this right now. It don't matter what the devil throw, next level church is here and the devil cannot prevail because Jesus is church and churches all across this nation and the world are going to be continuing to do the work of the Lord. And that's why I need your help. I want you to contemplate sowing your best gift to help us with this forward campaign, to help us, first of all, be able to fill this and to transform this place into the home of next level as it needs to be. But secondly, to help us be able to push kingdom ministry in a brand new way. Will you help us impact New York City and the nation by partnering with us financially? I'm going to give you really quickly a breakdown of the different levels of giving that we have for this campaign. And, and I pray that you will really embrace one by faith and, and join us in helping to move the kingdom of God forward here in New York City. And the first level is the bronze level. You can become a bronze level partner when you give $25 or more. And I believe anybody who's watching this, if you've made it this far, if you're here watching this, listening to my voice right now, that you can do this for sure. Um, you can give 25, 50, 75 bucks, and it wouldn't even cost, you wouldn't even think twice about it. And if that's you, I want to encourage you to do that. I want to encourage you to support and to give and to be a blessing because listen, every dollar counts. But there's another level above that. That's our silver level partner. And that's when you give $100 or more. Man, and it would just be so amazing if that the least that we had everybody give who saw this, that had a heart for this and whose heart was plucked by what God is doing here in New York City through Next Level Church. If all of you gave $100 or more, that would just be a tremendous blessing to us. We would reach our first phase goal of $50,000 and ultimately our goal of $500,000 in no time flat. 
But this is one that I'm really hoping that you would contemplate and consider and prayerfully join us in is that you would become a gold level partner with Next Level Church. And you become a gold level partner when you give $1,000 or more towards this campaign. You know, my prayer is that we would have 500 people. Um, we have a lot of people in our church who are doing this, but also 500 people across the nation who would say, Bryson, we're standing with you and Next Level Church to help push the kingdom of God forward, to help push the gospel forward in a new and innovative way, to help see 1,000 souls saved. I want you to think about it. Literally, every dollar that you would donate at a gold level would, would literally represent a single soul that is being saved. If you give $1,000, that's 1,000 souls that's going to be saved. And you can, we can do that, and we need your help. All right, so I'm going to encourage you as many people as can. If this is you, even if that's a stretch, I'm going to encourage you to do this because there is a blessing that will come to your life when you become a gold level partner. I know this for a fact. But then there's one other level that we want to talk about that I want to give you an opportunity to, to, to sow and to give at, and that's our platinum level partnership. And that's when you give $5,000 or more. First of all, let me tell you this, is that this is the level that I'm also giving towards. Um, I'm not just asking people to donate to our ministry, but I'm also going to lead in giving. And this is the level that I'm donating, $5,000. I'm actually going to donate more than that, but that's none of your business. <laughs> but here's the thing. I believe this, that there are people out there, maybe you, who God has placed on your heart to not just to partner with our church, but to, to be a significant platinum level partner. Because you know that in order to do big things, you need big support. You know, every great prophetic and apostolic ministry had people behind them who were significant givers, who were significant um, contributors towards their cause. And I believe that could be you today. I'm just crazy enough to believe that there are people who want to support and who want to sow into kingdom work because they realize that as the bible says is that if you sow sparingly you'll reap sparingly but if you sow abundantly you're going to reap abundantly or king james version says bountifully and here's what the word of god tells us and there's a promise that i'm going to make you that i really want to speak to your heart and prophetically tell you is that the word of god tells us that god is able to make all grace abound to you so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good work. A few things I want to just pull from there just to help uh, encourage you today as you're praying and as you're seeking God on what level to give and how to support this kingdom cause. The first thing is this, is that God is going to make all grace abound to you. He didn't just say some grace or just a portion of grace, but he says when you give and when you sow into kingdom work, when you sow into what God is doing in the earth, he says he's going to make all grace abound to you. This means that graces that, that may have been reserved, a level of grace that may have been um, off limits to you, God says he's going to make it all abound to you so that you can have all sufficiency in everything. In other words, so that you don't lack in anything. There's going to be grace over your family, grace over your marriage, grace over your money, grace over your job come on grace over your city god says he's going to make all grace abound to you i want you to receive this today because as you sow into this word god is going to make all grace open up over your life and here's why so that you can have an abundance for every good work the reason why he doesn't want you to lack in any area is for specifically moments like this is so that when you are encountered with kingdom initiatives that need your support that need your financial help you can have an abundance for every good work. I believe this for sure. I believe that God is going to bless you when you give today. So listen, which way will you partner with us? I'm asking you, is it going to be the bronze, silver of $100 or more? The gold level at $1,000 or more? Or are you going to reach us at the platinum level at $5,000 or more? Listen, I'm not trying to auction this off, but I'm really just trying to make an appeal to you because this is so serious. Like what we're doing and what God is establishing here at Next Level Church is going to impact generations. We are definitely pouring into young people intentionally and on purpose for their spiritual well-being, for their educational well-being, and also their personal and character well-being. Not only that, we're pouring into families with our Next Level University and our School of Marriage and Family. 
We're going to be specifically pouring into marriages and families because we want to see strong kingdom households. Like your giving, your support is going to impact the world. But more importantly, the most important thing that we have with this forward campaign is our 1000 soul campaign. We're going to see 1000 people born again. And the reason why I'm asking you and, and um, giving you this opportunity to partner with us in giving is because you're giving today is going to help people who are far from God find life and get connected to him in covenant relationship through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There are people right now who are sitting in their homes, some driving, some watching TV, some on the internet right now, and they don't know Jesus. They're destined for hell. But your giving today is going to allow us to disrupt their life and to change the trajectory of their eternal residence by helping us establish and launch the most innovative, game-changing, and disruptive evangelistic campaign that the world has ever known. I'm telling you, we're going to do it, and we're going to scale it up as we get better and better at it. But your giving today is going to help us see 1,000 people born again. Not just 1,000 people repeat a prayer, but 1,000 people who actually have repentant hearts, who actually understand that this is covenant relationship that we're talking about and who have devoted and have given their life to Jesus. You today are going to be a part of that. Friends, this is God's doing. I could talk about all that I've had to give up and sacrifice to get here and to do this and the journey, but I will spare you those details. But just know this, that God is doing something special and you have a part, you have an opportunity to be a part of that. You have an opportunity to join with us and partner with us and help us do something that's never been done before. Listen, the way that we're doing church, I'm not talking about Sunday mornings, but I'm talking about everything around Next Level Church is totally game changing. And when you partner with us, you're partnering with the next level of church, the next generation, the next dimension of what can happen and what can occur. So I want you to pray right now. I want you to ask the Lord right now, say, God, what should I give? What should I support? How should I give? How should I contribute to this tremendous cause? Because it's so necessary. And as you ask him that, I want to challenge you to do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Because as you do it, it's going to help thousands of people get saved. It's going to help thousands of lives be transformed. Matter of fact, can I say it's going to impact millions of people? Because listen, New York City is just the first stop. And the words of Biggie, I'm going, going back, back to Akron, Charlotte, uh, Atlanta, everywhere. D.C., Cleveland, Columbus, Chicago. We're going everywhere, y'all. This is just the beginning, and your help is gonna help us. Your help is gonna help us do that. Do it. Listen, I love you, thank you in advance. My son thanks you, our Next Level Church family thanks you. This is gonna change the game, and you get to be a part of it. I'll holla, peace and blessings. Listen, we're here today just to Vibe a little bit on the Come record. On. Tell you a little bit about our movement. Let you know we're not going nowhere. Next, Next level, what the future look like. Yo, I'm the definition of half man, half church. Ask Monk. Next level, that's what's up. Ten years in, we still acting up. And ain't nothing changed, we ain't backing up. Uh.